what up, guys? I'm his squad, and welcome back, guys. Here's your boy, Sean. And your girl. Yes, yes, yes. Mel. Welcome back to the squad. How are you guys doing today? We hope you guys are absolutely amazing. Yes, guys. Hey, if you're having a rough day, let's turn around right now with some good energy and some good content, all right? All right. So, my lovely wife, what do we have today? What is this? All right, my love. Today, we'll be reacting to the most terrible Simpson predictions for 2024. Whoa, Nelly. Now, the Simpsons, they are known for predicting the future. They have been, like, dead on, like, and it's been yeah, very he's scary. Been some things like scary things, um, that like give you goosebumps. Like how in the world this show came out in the nineties and yes, you yes, know, they predicting these things most right definitely now in the two thousands. But um, guys, you guys sent this over and we appreciate it. All right, so before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on your post notification bell so you guys know so We appreciate it. Um, baby, ready to get into it? I'm ready. Here we go. Good energy, yeah. good content. Let's see what we got. Me too. I love the Simpsons now. Yeah. The Simpsons has been on the air for nearly five decades and is known for its humor, chaos, and portrayal of a dysfunctional family. You're right. The Simpson family is the best possible club I could belong to. However, there is a darker reality behind the laughs that many people may not be aware of. The show has been predicting future events for years with surprising accuracy. From forecasting the COVID-19 outbreak in 2020 to the Ebola outbreak in 2014, the Simpsons have backed their stand as fortune seekers. And now, they have some of the most horrifying predictions for 2024. Join us as we delve into these Simpsons terrifying predictions. Woo. Trump presidential campaign. The Simpsons surprised everyone when they showed Donald Trump becoming president. In season 11, episode 17, called Years Bart to the ago. Future, Bart visits a casino and sees a vision of Lisa as the future president, inheriting financial issues from President Trump. It's quite a simple view of what her predecessor was like. But could the Simpsons have influenced Trump to become president? This episode aired Whoa. over 15 years before Trump announced his candidacy in 2016, but it was commenting on events. Trump talked about running for president during an interview with Larry King on October 7, 1999. Another hint about a Trump-like figure winning came in Season 19, Episode 10, titled E Pluribus Wiggum, which aired on January 6, 2006. In that episode, Republicans are tricked by Homer and see Ralph Wiggum as a potential candidate who could win. Ralph is seen as an unlikely candidate, but he has some qualities that appeal to voters, like his ability to distinguish between a cat's breath and cat food, and his desire to make the country great again. The news about Trump's plan to run for president again in 2024 has stirred up quite a buzz. On November 15, 2022, the former U.S. President Donald Trump known for his controversial leadership, announced his bid to reclaim the presidency he lost in 2021. With confidence, he pledged to fulfill his promise of making America great again. In a surprising twist, another scene from Bart to the Future resurfaced, showing a sign reading Trump 2024. This prediction, wow. made years before Trump's first presidency, has left many people stunned. Wow. But hold on tight because there's more jaw-dropping predictions to come. AI Takeover Apart from the crazy things the characters do wow. in The Simpsons, fans love the show because its predictions seem to come true. Even though the show has already predicted many technological advancements, this one prediction seems too accurate to be a coincidence. In Episode 17 of Season 23, Homer loses his job because his company replaced all its workers with robots. Given the progress in robotics and artificial intelligence, machines may take over human jobs in the future, maybe as early as 2024. Robots are already working as waiters in some countries. Is this the end of human labor, or are we overreacting? We hope this never happens, but if it does, the Simpsons can say, we told you so. Given that artificial intelligence is everywhere and people often use it, some people worry that we are becoming too dependent on AI. For example, AI is watching how you behave as you watch this video. Could we be making these machines too powerful, to the point where they might harm us in the future? Mm -hmm. Before thinking this is a crazy idea, 
Consider what happened to a former Google engineer. He lost his job for telling everyone that their latest AI had become aware of itself. This means that technology isn't just doing what it's supposed to anymore, it's becoming aware of things. It's pretty scary. scary and you know man. what's even scarier? The Simpsons predicted this in a 1994 episode called Itchy and Scratchy Land. The family goes to a spooky Disneyland, where the robots running the place turn deadly. While this kind of thing hasn't happened yet, and will not until 2024, according to The Simpsons, the advancements in AI are making people wonder about its limits. What do you think about AI becoming increasingly important in our lives? Share your thoughts below. Mars Takeover In one episode of The Simpsons, Lisa and her family learn about an opportunity to go to Mars. They get excited and sign up for it. It's so wild how similar this is to what Elon Musk plans to do in real life. He's been discussing colonizing Mars for years, and even started a company to make it happen. The episode was funny, and had lots of wild adventures, but their car broke down in the end, and they didn't get anywhere. But in a quick look, we see Marge and Lisa living on Mars in 2051. It's just a coincidence, but it's still really weird. It makes you wonder if the show's creators know something that we don't. Really? Well, Elon Musk, the head of SpaceX, revealed that the first trip to Mars with people on board could happen in 2024 in an interview that he had four years ago. He was really sure about this, saying SpaceX might send people to Mars this year if everything goes well. Musk mentioned this wow. during an online interview with a German media company. Before sending people, SpaceX plans to send a spaceship without a crew to Mars first. This timing depends on when Earth and Mars line up in space, which happens every 26 months. The spaceship they'll use for these trips is called Starship. It's a huge rocket that will take off from Earth with another big rocket called Super Heavy. Both of these rockets can be used over and over again. After launching, wow. Super Heavy will return to Earth and land vertically, while Starship will go to Mars and back multiple times. SpaceX is testing different versions of Starship to make sure they're safe. The latest one, called SN8, is getting ready for a big test flight. They're aiming to launch it up to 9 miles high sometime this week. Virtual Reality Food In one of the Simpsons episodes, Homer and Marge enjoy virtual fudge through their virtual reality headsets. Wow. They are relishing the taste of digital food in this scene. This prediction might sound crazy, but it could be true. Enter Aerobanquet's RMX, an extraordinary culinary adventure that will blow your mind. Forget about the upscale and posh restaurants and explore how dining in the digital world feels. Though virtual reality has made remarkable progress in various fields, such as gaming, art, and real estate, it's fascinating to see such an experiment. The creators of this project aim to change how we experience food and alter our perceptions. Can we expect such experiences to become common by 2024? Well, VR food has not been developed, but dining with VR is already invoked by the Sublimotion restaurant, revolutionizing dining with virtual reality adventures that accompany each dish in a 15-course meal. Guests enjoy cockle shells and oysters while sharks swim around them, then find themselves at a lively carnival with circus acts and Ferris wheels. Even skydiving is on the menu. Over a hundred people, including famous filmmakers and talented composers, work together to create this luxurious VR dining experience making Sublimotion one of the most extravagant restaurants globally. But storytelling with VR isn't just for fancy places. Even your local eatery can use this technology. Imagine ordering your favorite asparagus casserole and being whisked away to a virtual farm. You'll see where your food comes from and how it becomes the tasty dish in front of you. It's a whole new level of appreciation for your meal. The Simpsons prediction on Apple Vision Pro the Simpsons also predicted the release of the Apple Vision Pro virtual reality headset, which everyone in the tech world is discussing. One user was thrilled that The Simpsons predicted the future once more. They remarked on how the cartoon predicted this technology, which has now been available in Apple stores since the year began. These high-tech devices can be operated by hand and eye movements, similar to those in the popular show Black Mirror. They offer users a chance to experience a wide range of incredibly realistic virtual reality experiences. For instance, you can attend an Alicia Keys concert, or even have a Rhino charge directly towards you. The devices are quite expensive, 
costing around $3,500 each, but they sold out quickly after launch. Even though the Vision Pro has only been out recently, The Simpsons predicted its conception in 2016. They even made a Friends and Family episode in which Mr. Byrne recruits Marge, Bart, Lisa, and Maggie to become his virtual reality family. This way, they can act as a test run for the brand new headset. The images from this episode look very similar to the ones of people using Vision Pro in public. This is truly remarkable. People have been seen wearing big goggles and a headset that lets them see things that aren't there. Some people even acted a bit strangely while using them. These gadgets are called the Apple Pro Virtual Reality Headsets, and they are really expensive, so not everyone can afford them. Even some people who work for Apple think they are too heavy and big. But some experts say that the Apple Pro is the first device to do something called Spatial OS, which is pretty impressive. Interestingly, a TV show called The Simpsons predicted that these headsets would exist a few years ago, and they have predicted many other things too. World War III. Let's talk about what could have happened on November 22nd, 1987. Some people might think that an average American man's homemade shelter would not be strong enough to protect his family from a nuclear attack. In a special episode of The Simpsons, originally aired on The Tracy Ullman Show, Homer kept teasing his family with fears of World War I, constantly waking them up and rushing them into the fallout shelter as if it were the end of the world. The episode was meant to be funny, but it also showed how scary it can be to think about the possibility of a serious conflict between world powers. Even though the world isn't at war right now, there have been many conflicts in different parts of the world, and it can feel like we're getting closer to something big. We had a scare in 2020 with the threat of a world war before the virus came along. We hope that in 2024, when tensions will be high, countries won't resort to using their weapons to wipe out everyone. We hope that doesn't happen. Some American households may act out scenes from that Simpsons episode where they're rushing to get into their makeshift shelters. It's a scary thought, but the episode was meant to be a joke, even if it makes us think about how to protect ourselves and our families in a crisis. Female Presidency Women have proven themselves to be amazing in politics, but having a female president can significantly and positively impact them. Unfortunately, it's difficult for women to reach the top political positions because more men are in power. However, the Simpsons have a different idea. In an episode called Back to the Future, Lisa becomes the first female president of the United States. In the episode, the country was in trouble because of its previous president's bad financial decisions, and Lisa had to increase taxes to fix the situation. Lisa. With the 2024 elections coming up, some wonder if the Simpsons might predict the future again. Kamala Harris became the first black female vice president of the United States. But could we take it further and have a woman as the president? Hillary Clinton had a good run in the 2026 presidential race against Donald Trump. Her campaign even threw a big party on election night at the Javits Center in New York City. Famous speakers like Chuck Schumer, Andrew Cuomo, Bill de Blasio and Katy Perry were there. At the end of the night, they were supposed to shoot confetti from cannons on the glass roof to symbolize breaking the glass ceiling. They had even planned fireworks on the Hudson River, but they canceled them. But as the votes came in on November 8, 2016, Clinton lost in states she was supposed to win, like Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. Trump ended up winning the presidency, even though Clinton got more votes overall. This was a big surprise because polls had said Clinton would win. Even though she got lots of votes, Clinton congratulated Trump and gave a speech the next morning at the New Yorker Hotel. She also tweeted a message of hope to girls, saying they are valuable and powerful. Trump got more electoral votes, but Clinton got more of the popular vote, making her the first woman to do so in a U.S. presidential election. Her losses in Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin were really important in deciding the outcome of the election. Black Hole In 2013, a new episode of the popular TV show Treehouse of Horror 23 was aired. It was called The Black Hole and followed the story of a family facing danger from a mysterious black hole. This dangerous cosmic monster threatened to swallow the entire town of Springfield into a world of nothingness and darkness. Lisa, one of the family members accidentally created this scary monster, 
but she brought it home to protect everyone from its wrath. However, as usual, chaos followed the Simpsons, and in the end, the black hole devoured the entire Springfield, leaving only Maggie, the family's youngest member, alone in the destroyed town. What? Even though this story was just a work of fiction, it left many people amazed and concerned about the possibility of such catastrophic natural events in real life. Although scientists believe that the nearest black hole to Earth is about a thousand light years away, there have been recent panics about the creation of black holes that might have been created by CERN, a governmental agency focused on scientific research. Really? On Tuesday, July 5th, 2022 scientists in Meyrin, Switzerland, made a mind-blowing announcement. They had found three brand new exotic particles, never seen before in science. And they did it using the biggest ring of superconducting magnets on Earth, also called the Large Hadron Collider. If you were expecting something as dramatic as a portal opening or a scene from Stranger Things, you might be a bit disappointed. But this discovery is still incredibly exciting. The excitement around the LHC isn't new. People have been buzzing about this huge particle accelerator run by CERN, and just as seen in The Simpsons, some people are even worried that it might create a black hole that could destroy Earth. But despite all the hype and worries, Earth is still here. In fact, some scientists suggested that the LHC might have made tiny black holes that we just can't see. But according to them, these mini black holes just float around harmlessly, not causing any trouble. Hover cars. Many science fiction movies have shown futuristic cars that can fly and hover. However, The Simpsons did an even better job of it in the episode Future Drama from season 16. Bart and Lisa predicted the future of their family and saw amazing things. They had hover cars that didn't need tires and could take them anywhere in style. This refers to a technology that has been developing for a long time. A company called Samson Sky from Oregon is expected to start shipping its switchblade flying car in 2024. After 14 years of wow. work, the Samson Switchblade, a fast, street-legal three-wheeler that transforms into a 200-mile-per-hour airplane at the push of a button, has been given the green light by the FAA. Now, the team is gearing up for what? flight tests. The Whoa, Nelly. Are you kidding me? You wear flying cars? World's first flying sports car. Oh my goodness. They was approved. Why? Why are they turning us into <laughs> robots? Goodness gracious. I mean, this is just too much right here. Like, flying cars, people can't even handle the cars on the road. Uh, I think we'll handle them in the air. Here we go, guys. Here we go. The switchblade gets its name from how its wings and tail unfold like a knife blade from underneath its two-seat cabin when it's time to take flight. The entire transformation from street-ready trike to aircraft takes less than three minutes with the press of a button. While they haven't shown the full process on a physical model yet, it's shaping up to be quite a sight. Powered by a three-cylinder, 1.6-liter liquid-cooled engine running on regular pump gas, it packs 190 Whoa. horsepower. This engine acts as a generator for electric wheels in driving mode and an electric prop motor for flying. It can hit speeds of over 125 miles per hour and is registered as a motorcycle in many areas. Once airborne, the switchblade cruises at 160 miles per hour with a range of 450 miles on a full tank. It requires a thousand foot runway for takeoff and just 700 feet for landing. After folding away its flight gear, it fits neatly in a standard garage, standing just 5.1 feet tall. In a world full of futuristic EVTOL promises, the switchblade brings us back to the original vision of a flying car. Drive to the local airstrip, take off, soar above traffic, land at your destination, and drive to your final destination, all fueled by regular gas making cross-country trips a breeze. Wow. The only question is whether you will need a pilot's license to operate it. Willie Nelson goes for a swim. Some of the Simpsons' predictions, wow. like this one from October 1991, where the famous country singer-songwriter swims across the English Channel, are meant to be funny and not always serious or scary. Even though Willie Nelson often plays himself in the show, only some things about his character or the future are completely accurate. It's important to remember that The Simpsons is just a cartoon, not a crystal ball that tells the future. So why did the writers make Willie Nelson swim across the English Channel in the show? 
Maybe they were just having a good time writing it. But will Willie Nelson swim across the English Channel in 2024? Really? It's unlikely, especially since he's 90 years old now. Even though it would be an incredible sight, the challenge of swimming across the channel probably isn't at the top of his to-do list at his age. Hologram technology. It's hard to keep up with how fast technology grows, but the Simpsons seem to have it all figured out. In one episode, Bart uses a device that lets him see what his future will be like. He sees a message in a hologram inviting his band to play at a club. How did the Simpsons come up with the idea for holograms? Maybe this year, holograms will be as popular as phones. There's a cool thing called DreamOck HD3 holograms, where you can see a three-dimensional image of anything from anywhere in the world. The DreamOck HD3 display combines your product with animated scenes using mixed reality technology. When people see the DreamOck HD3 display, they'll be amazed and might even stop in their tracks. It's considered the future of display advertising, especially for retailers, as it brings your brand to life in a magnificent way. The DreamOck HD3 is compact, standing less than two feet wide and just over one foot tall. It features a 23 inches screen with full HD resolution, making your product look stunning with holographic content. With the HD3's custom content management system, you can effortlessly switch between products using one easy-to-use platform. This is perfect for retailers with changing product lists or those having big sales. To enhance the immersive experience, the DreamOck HD3 comes with built-in speakers and preset animation templates. Whether you want a 3D glass screen, a holographic fireball, or simply an interactive product catalog, you can easily create captivating displays with little experience needed. The DreamOck HD3 is also designed for convenience, with features like the DreamOck flight case for easy transport to trade shows. It's one of the most innovative advertising tools on the market. Although it's only available in 500 Best Buy stores right now, maybe by 2024 it will be everywhere. We'll wow. remember that The Simpsons were the first to think of it if it happens. Yes. Barbie movie release and Trump's arrest. Do you know that The Simpsons wow. show predicted an event that happened? In one of their episodes titled Lisa vs. Malibu, a news anchor talks about the release of a new Barbie doll. But amid all the excitement, the anchor also mentions the arrest of a U.S. president. This is surprisingly similar to what happened in real life when Donald Trump was arrested on April 4, 2024, on the same day that a new Barbie movie was released. The Simpsons episode aired many years before this incident and was seen as a joke. But it's amazing how the show could predict such an event accurately. The news coverage of the Barbie doll release in the episode is so long that mentioning the president's arrest seems almost like an afterthought. But in reality, it was a significant event that made headlines. The Simpsons truly have a knack for predicting the future. Zombie Apocalypse One episode of The Simpsons, a zombie apocalypse hits Springfield, where the Simpsons live. While it might seem strange, we can't ignore it because the show has predicted many things that have come true. Throughout history, Whoa. pandemics have caused significant life disruptions and affected millions of people worldwide. Some of the most deadly pandemics include the Black Death, the Spanish Flu, HIV AIDS, and the recent COVID-19 pandemic. The COVID-19 pandemic has been particularly devastating, causing unprecedented chaos and highlighting the importance of global cooperation in responding to such crises. The Simpsons' prediction of a zombie apocalypse might sound far-fetched, but given the show's track record of predicting real events, we can't just brush it off as fiction. Economic Collapse After watching the video from an episode called Bart to the Future, let's think about another scary prediction from this cartoon. In one of their famous episodes, The Simpsons warned us about an economic collapse. They said it would happen when Donald Trump was president, but he still needs to become president. He's running for president in the next election, so maybe this was a prediction for two things simultaneously. With people talking about a big recession coming, could Trump win the election and lead the country during an economic collapse? Well, some smart people who study the economy think it's possible. They say the United States might have a tough time next year. But let's be real. Every country is going through hard times because of things like the COVID-19 pandemic, the Ukraine-Russia war, and other conflicts. It's amazing that our world hasn't fallen apart yet. Baby Translator 
Have you ever wanted to know what your crying baby needs during a meltdown? Well, there's now an amazing invention called the Baby Translator that can help. This device can turn baby babble into real words, so you can finally understand what your little one is trying to tell you. It's so cool that even the Simpsons knew about it before we did. Wow. In one of their episodes, Homer's half-brother invents a machine that can do just that. A Swiss software company called Zoundream has created a similar gadget that uses artificial intelligence to decode your baby's cries and tell you exactly what they want. Not only can this technology understand cries instantly, but it can also help identify potential health issues and developmental concerns in newborns, benefiting families worldwide. Zoundream's CEO stated that this technology isn't meant to replace parental instincts, but to support them. It aims to boost parents' confidence and attention to their baby's needs. The company's algorithms are based on extensive analysis of infant cries from around the world. Using spectrograms, they've categorized cries into different types, such as hunger, pain, gas, and the need for affection. Despite language differences, newborns communicate in a universal language. This understanding comes from studying countless hours of crying sounds. Prosody, the tonal patterns babies use before they can speak, is also crucial. It's a skill they develop even before birth. In 2024, Zoundream plans to launch its technology widely in Europe and Asia. It's truly there? amazing <laughs> and could be a game changer for parents everywhere. To show how accurate the Simpsons have been with their predictions, let's take a look at predictions that have come to pass. Okay. Ebola attack. On October 19, 1997, Ebola. the Simpsons predicted the Ebola that? virus outbreak in an episode titled Lisa's Sacks which was first meant for season seven, but aired in season nine. Bart falls ill in the episode, which talks about Lisa's broken saxophone and where it came from. Marge advises him to read a book titled Curious Gorge and the Ebola Virus. Although the disease was found in 1976, the scariest Ebola outbreak ever happened in West Africa from December 2013 to January 2016. Mm -hmm. It was gigantic with a whopping 29,000 cases and 11,000 deaths. Wow. Then, on March 29, 2016, they said it wasn't an emergency. But the terror didn't end there. More outbreaks hit Africa, like in the Democratic Republic of the Congo in May 2017 and again in 2018. And just when we thought it couldn't get scarier, on July 2019, the World Health Organization screamed out that the Ebola outbreak in Congo was a world health emergency. Smartwatch and video call. In 1995, in an episode of The Simpsons called Lisa's Wedding, a fortune teller at a Renaissance fair shows the Simpson family a vision of the future. They see Lisa's boyfriend, Hugh Parkfield, using a cool watch phone to make calls. This was before the Apple Watch came out making it seem like The Simpsons had predicted smartwatches. But actually, characters like Dick Tracy and Maxwell Smart had similar gadgets long before. In the same episode, Lisa uses a picture phone to call her mom, Marge. Marge's reaction to the technology is funny and relatable, but we'd already seen video phones in the 1989 movie Back to the Future Part 2. Some people think The Simpsons was ahead of its time with this prediction, like when Steve Jobs introduced FaceTime in 2010. But real video phones were already around within a year of the episode airing. You can even see characters using them in the 1999 movie Mother. So it's like, The Simpsons showed us these awesome gadgets before they became real. Disney merger and 20th Century Fox merger. An episode called When You Dish Upon a Star, which aired on November 8, 1998, depicted a sign on the front of a building that read, 20th Century Fox, a division of Walt Disney Company. The episode from the long-running Fox cartoon focuses on an unlikely relationship between Homer Simpson, Alec Baldwin, and Kim Basinger. The sign appears toward the end, as Ron Howard successfully pitches a movie about a killer robot driving instructor that travels back in time for some reason, and a talking pie, and receives bags of money for the project. That Disney Fox prediction became a reality on December 14, 2017, when Disney announced it was buying a huge chunk of 21st Century Fox, which owns 20th Century Fox, 
for $52.4 billion. Whoa! ESPN reporter Darren Rovell tweeted his prediction for The Simpsons on Thursday, including a screenshot of the cartoon sign. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Wow. Whoa, Nelly. And just to think, a cartoon predicting a lot of things is going on right now in the world. It's the really Simpsons. scary, especially the black hole prediction. The black hole, the Ebola. The Ebola was already predicted. Um, you know, um, things about Donald Trump. Yeah. Being arrested, becoming the president. And the first female president. The first female president. Which Kamala Harris, she is the vice president now. So. Yeah. Wow. And if Joe was to, you know, step down or anything happened, she would be the president. She would be in line to be. She would be the president. The first female of the president of the United States. Um, I gotta take my hat off to the Simpsons, man. They, wow, this is some scary stuff, guys. It, it, it really is. If you like think Flying about it, cars, like yeah, like oh, this is some scary stuff. It's really scary. AI taking over all the jobs. Yes, they are. Like, what's gonna happen to humans in the future? That's what I'm worried about. Yeah. Like human life in the moving forward. And what about what you call them, the VRs? Yes. Um, Man, you know, the kids, our, um, our babies, they, they had one. When I put it on one day, and I got dizzy. I got really dizzy. Yeah. Like I was falling. I said, let me take this darn thing I off. Mean, think about it. All this technology, wearing technology. Yes. You know, that can, can't that cause cancer? Um, it's like, it's gonna, it's there's going to be a lot of sick people moving forward with all of the technology and everything. Yes. Um, especially as far as babies are concerned, AI telling the parent what's wrong with the child. Like, wow. I mean, this stuff is deep. I don't know about that. This stuff is really A lot of people deep. would say, oh, that's cool, but I, I wouldn't. Yeah. I'm happy we had all of our babies and we don't have to worry about that part, about that. but that's scary. I think. You know, we should have our motherly instincts yeah, exactly. and everything. Not have a computer think for us. That doesn't really make sense. That means, like, because we wouldn't be, you know, we we need to think as humans. That trains yeah, right. our brain. You know, it keeps us from having Alzheimer's. Just working your brain. But if a computer is, or an artificial intelligence These is computers, doing everything that, that, that for us, what good are we? That's this scary. is scary. I mean, you know, they're uh, gonna just wipe us out and be a computer world, you know, with these robots running around. But, I mean, um, I, I don't. I, I mean, they are taking over. You know, like every time you go to a restaurant or um, or you call on the phone, it's always something to do with AI. Anything Everything that you do. is turning into AI. You know what I'm saying? These phones and computers. They say AI is listening to us right now to get our, you know, response. And it's starting to have emotions because sometimes when That's you're talking scary. to Siri on your phone, she's getting, she has that like an attitude. Fancy. Yeah. That she can get really like upset. Wow, this reminds me of a movie that I saw when I was a kid. It was called The Smart House. Mmm. And now there are smart houses. Yes. Okay. We just watched a movie. Simpsons. Went. It's called Romy. I think it's on Netflix. Oh my goodness. This is scary. And Romy was the house. It can lock up. It can, you know, tell you what you want to eat. Do all these type of things that just scary. Like, you know. Can you imagine robots just running around hurting people? What could you do? Yes. You. How can you take a robot out? To protect yourself. Take me back to that. It's not like you can shoot that, it. Um, Will Smith movie, that I robot. It's just, it's just too much, guys. It's, it's just... And then he talked about going to Mars this year. Like, All boy, right. <laughs> try to go to Mars. <laughs> okay. <Woo! laughs> All right, guys. Um, okay. Shout out to the Simpsons. They have. Thank you for the warning, Simpsons. Yes. I mean, they're warning us. Yep. 
before these things happen and they just put it we're too busy like, worried about things that don't matter exactly things that don't even matter okay wow. guys please go ahead and smash that like button give this video a big fat thumbs up and also get inside the comment section if you guys want us to react to any more of these simpson um, predictions please drop it off yes because um it's just so interesting just to get into it to see how much they knew back then. Yes. That's coming to light right now today. Most definitely. And it's scary. Like, how did they know Very this? Very scary. Because this is big stuff. This is not little stuff, you know, that you just predict. This is big stuff. You know, when you start talking about presidents and flying cars and stuff like that. That's yeah. that's huge. Most definitely. Wow. Yes. Really make you think. Yeah. Alright guys, that's all the time and we are signing off. Until next time, everyone, please have a blessed day out there. Here's your boy Sean. And your girl. Love the pieces. Love. I love you more, babe. We, we love, love you guys. guys. Have an amazing day. On purpose. Peace.